My name is Bongani Makajana from Cape Town, South Africa. I work with different choirs, uh, but my main two choirs that I'm responsible for, it's a church choir, youth choir in the Old Apostolic Church, which is 120 voices that I work with. And then during COVID, I started a children's choir. In South Africa, most of the schools, when they do this school choir competition, they can only teach our children only choral music. So I wanted a choir in the black community that will expose children at the early age to other music genres. So I'm kind of trying to expose them to what our education system doesn't. In 2006, I met Molly Stone, uh, who is a conductor of Chicago Children's Choir. And she was visiting South Africa looking for the composers who are writing songs responding to HIV and AIDS. So she told me about Village Harmony, that they will come to South Africa, they would like me to meet them. And then 2012 they came, I did one workshop with them. Uh, from 2014 till COVID, they started to invite me to do workshops in, for summer camps around US, UK, Germany. Okay. <laughs> Doing workshops for village harmony and choirs here, not that much difference. The choirs are, are level of music even here were different. You could feel this one choir is kind of more in this level that they can take songs very easily, quickly. Other ones, feel okay, this one, they are a bit slow, so you have to adjust to them, you know what I mean? So um, the difference is not that much. Music, um, it's a very powerful tool. For instance, if when I was doing an HIV and AIDS program, my job was to write educational songs. Right? If you learn a song with a message in it, you take that message away with you. Because each and every time when you sing that song, that message is there. So music is a good vehicle of transporting messages. It's a good vehicle of healing because every composer, when he writes a song, there's always a purpose on that song. Meaning now, if I can give a lecture approach, stand in front of them and just speak and speak and speak, maybe they might forget. But if I teach them songs, those songs will stay forever with them, which is the message from each song, you know what I mean? It will stay with the kid forever. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.